Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. James Kenny Associated Press, by Day Beeler Day Beeler sports reporter covering national topics, as well as supporting coverage of D. C area teams email bio follow September 18 at 8.39 p.m. A Texas school district superintendent is claiming he regrets saying of the Houston Texans Deshaun Watson, you can't count on a black quarterback. The comment was posted to a Houston Chronicle Facebook page, and the official said he thought he was responding instead to a private message from a friend. I wish it had never been posted, Lynn Redden, the superintendent of the Onalaska, Tex. Independent School District, told the Chronicle on Monday. The official, whose district is located about 85 miles north of Houston, was frustrated by a game-ending sequence in the Texans' 2017 loss Sunday to the Tennessee Titans in which Watson mismanaged his team's final play. That may have been the most inept quarterback decision I've seen in the NFL, Redden wrote in his Facebook comment. When you need precision decision-making you can't count on a black quarterback, According to the Chronicle, Redden quickly deleted his comment, but a Houston-area resident captured an image of it and alerted the newspaper. It's important to make sure horrible words are met with consequences, especially for those in powerful positions with influence, the resident, Matt Erickson, said. Erickson added that, while he didn't have children in the Onalaska district, he was concerned about what he saw as an overtly racist remark made by someone in Redden's position. A 2016-17 Texas academic performance report listed nine students out of a total of 1,026 in the district, or zero. 9% as African American. Onalaska ISD School Board to discuss superintendent's contract after racist comment HTTPS colon slash slash T. Co9Z19WZ3KFQ, Houston Chronicle, at Houston Cron, September 18, 2018 read and claimed that, while he understands how his comment could be viewed as racist, that was not his intention. He said that he was talking about how black quarterbacks have fared in the league, telling the Chronicle, over the history of the NFL, they have had limited success. Historically, black athletes were given very limited opportunities to play quarterback in the NFL until the late 1980s, when the position began to become more integrated. Nevertheless, in a league in which approximately 70% of the players are black, only about 20% of quarterbacks currently listed on depth charts are non-white. I see it as part of the same historical package as bias, the view that minorities can't be in thinking positions, even after we've had Barack Obama as president, said Cyrus Mary, a Washington-based lawyer and counsel to the Fritz Pollard Alliance which advocates for diversity in NFL coaching and executive ranks, in comments last year to The Washington Post. Dana Milbank, Texas creates the perfect curriculum for the Trump